What's poppin' flameheads? It's your boy, the host with the most Chris, the SGP himself. Got my little SGPs here too. Hi, Hi flameheads! Flame and on today's video, it's a midweek flame, and we've got uh, pop in a box, and we've got a mystery box from We Don't Give a Pop. So stick around, you'll see what we got. So, let's just jump right into this because I'm excited to find out what I got in this month's Pop in a Box. All three of them came in at the same time, and uh, that's the first time that's happened in the last two months. So, we got our Pop in a Box here. Let's find out what we got. Do we want to do pop in a box first, or do we want to do we don't give a pop first? I think let's do we don't give a pop. First. Yeah. Let's save. Let's save the pop in a box. Best for last. All right. So we've got a mystery box from we don't give a pop. They did a little uh, Black Friday uh, mystery box run. They asked if uh, if they did one. Would anybody buy one? I said, yeah, I'd buy a couple of them. I was only able to actually only buy uh, one because really I wasn't expecting them to release them like the next day. I thought it was going to be like a week or so. And I didn't know, you know, they didn't say any, mention anything right then about it being a Black Friday box. So um, we went ahead and picked one up and just to see what we would get. The price on the box was $20 shipped. I don't know if I don't think there was a guaranteed value of anything. So, if we lose any money, we lose some money. If we gain some money, that's great. But you know, it, that's the game with the mystery boxes. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. So, uh, yeah, we busted into this. Let's see what we got. You guys excited? Yeah. Um, let's we get another impactor too. All right, we got some paper in there. If we get it's a bubble wrap. Uh, if we get a non-chase. Pennywise Deadlights. Is there a Chase version of Deadlights? Yeah, we have it. We don't have that's not a Chase version, it's a Hot Topic version. Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm going crazy, guys. <clears throat> nothing in the box, nothing at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. See you. So I can see what it is. He's awesome. It, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. A sticky nut. It says 15 on there. Mm. So I don't know if that was the value. Or the ranking. Or what? Box lunch but exclusive. We have the box lunch exclusive Manson from the haunt from the haunted mansion, the mansion groundskeeper. This is a cool pop. I don't collect the haunted mansion pops. So, uh, this one will be up for sale or for trade. I, um, I actually like it. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not really into the Haunted Mansion Pops. It's got 15, it had 15 marked on the top of the box there. Um, I've got mean? my phone here somewhere. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> it was on the table. I guess I decided to throw it in my pocket last minute. Um... So we're going to, I'll, I'll use uh, the Funko app just to see how much this guy's worth. Hopefully it senses that. It's I think uh, the, the 15 may have, may have been what it was worth, but I don't, I really don't know. Because I didn't have to pick a number or anything. So. Ah, oh, it's got the freaking... It's got the box lunch price tag on the bottom of it, so covering up the original barcode. I hate when they do this. But the good thing about it is they are easy to peel off. So peel that little sucker there off, and then we'll go in with the barcode scanner. Okay, well, I, I don't know when they valued it or when they priced it, if that was the uh, price of the what they put on there for 15 
But he is trending right now at eleven dollars. Wait, it says status coming soon. Ah. Uh, apparently <laughs> Funko app hasn't updated their their statuses. But yeah, Mansion Grounds Keeper Box Lunch. If anybody wants this, hit me up on, on uh Instagram or drop it in the comments down below that you might be interested in it. And uh we'll work something out. But yeah, it's not something that I'm gonna keep, but it's still a cool pot regardless. I mean yeah. I'm just I'm just not a haunted mansion fan. Um I know a lot of people like the Disney theme park type stuff. Uh I did consider picking up a Madame Leota. Uh not the not the glow in the dark one, but just the common one uh that you get from Target. And I I put her back. I decided against it because I mean I'm not gonna try to collect all of them. And they, they even had the three pack with the Ezra Gus and whatever. They were chrome. Um, I still just, I was like, eh, I'm not going to pick them up. But, like I said, still cool pop. I'm not bashing it one bit. I like it. Let's jump into popping a box here. The best. Right, guys? Pop in the box is the best. Drop it in the comments down below if you're a subscriber to Pop in the Box. Because they do they really do a really great job with getting you pops that you actually want. Because you go in, yeah. you you pick out what pops you want. I've got a, a link down in the description below that if you go in and click on that, you get, I believe it's 10% off your first order. And plus it helps me. It brings a little bit of money my way. I can buy stuff off of there for the channel. Um, individual pops itself. But every little bit helps, and we would appreciate it. You don't have to, but it's your choice. All right, so all right, all right, okay. I see you. Okay. It helps us make. So we don't us have any pop in the box exclusives this time. Um, I've been seeing. It, it is kind of sad because I've been seeing everybody getting the uh, the agent anti venom and the agent. Uh, Venom pops in. I was kind of hoping that we would get a uh, pop in the box exclusive, but looking in here, we did not. So, first pop out of the box this is one for the boys in their collection. Hmm? This is from Five Nights at Freddy's, and it is Helpy. <gasps> no way! Helpy! Ah. So, he's our favorite from Final Nights at Freddy series. Well, right, kids? He ain't my favorite, but he is my he's favorite. my favorite in in Pizzeria Simulator. So that's the game he's in. Well, then if he's if that's the game that he's in, then he's your favorite in that game. But technically, he would be your favorite character. My favorite character is Foxy. <laughs> My favorite is Happy right. because so, he annoys you. And, and <laughs> yeah. Next pop up is from a is from a, a movie that I enjoyed whenever I was younger. Um, the boys haven't never seen this movie. I've only actually seen it a couple of times, but um, it's a really good movie, really emotional movie, and it is Rudy. This is an awesome, awesome pop. It's from the movie Rudy. Yep, it's from the movie Rudy. Rudy. I Rudy. love the I love the full art box art on the back from the from the movie. This is a great Sean Astin movie. Um, Rudy from Rudy. It's it, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. And last <coughs> but certainly certainly not least, it's from one of my favorite animated cartoon shows it's an animated show I don't really consider it a cartoon because it used to be a what you would call a cartoon because it was all drawn out now it's mostly digital animation still same thing that's what most cartoons are nowadays anyways but you gotta have a little bit of integrity if you know what I mean and it is Randy Marsh from South, South Park. Park. Randy Marsh is one of the most hilarious characters in the show. 
I mean... He just looks funny, so he might he's, be funny. Yeah, he's he's definitely funny, because he's, he's just a... He's, he's a doof. Big time doof. Help me. But, uh... So, really cool pops from, from Pop in a Box this month. Um, I guarantee you we didn't meet our $30 value on that. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. And, uh... I'm still gonna I'm still gonna keep up the subscription at least for a while. And before we I let you guys go, the boys want to show off something that they got yesterday at a um, little dirty Santa party we had. Uh, first up, I mean they got they got some Pokemon cards and a Pokemon cup. Uh, but my brother-in-law and my sister pitched in with the with the gifts and everything. To put a little stocking together for the boys, uh, for Kason and Anakin and my nephew uh, Leland. But uh, one of the things they got were little enamel pins, and this is the one that Kason got. It's really cool. It is the Infinity Gauntlet Snap. Oh, you you have to see mine. Mine is pretty awesome. Look, pretty good detail on that. But yeah, as Anakin said, this one, I would have to say, is the best. It's from Batman, and it is Harley Quinn. Oh, yeah. And if you see, there's Batman in the background kind of flying in. And then right below Harley is the Joker. It is a very cool. It's from the, uh, I guess it's from like the comic uh, Mad Love. So, yeah, very cool. You know, I love Harley Quinn. She is the greatest. She's the hottest. But, uh... Leland was trying to take... Was trying to take this from me. I said, nope, you ain't taking this. It's mine. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's all we've got for you today. We appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Give it a big thumbs up if you like the video. Drop a comment down below what you think of all the pops that we got. Uh, other than that, uh, that's that's it. I mean, what else can we say? We got some really cool pops. Rudy, Randy Marsh, Helpy, Mansion Groundskeeper. Helpy is me and Kaysons. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. I love Once him. Once again, Mansion Groundskeeper is up for sale or trade. I know you like it, but I'm, we're not keeping it. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's not going to fit in our collection. Okay. Um, I mean, there's a lot of pops that I like that we've got in our in our list of stuff for sale or trade. I mean, I like them all. I wouldn't have got them if I didn't like them, but they just, they're just not fitting in the collection. So, um, but yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep it popping. Later, Flameheads. Bye, Flameheads. Bye, Flameheads.